David and Joku of the Browns, our tight end, you know, he had 69 yards on Sunday, six receptions, and almost got to 10 fantasy points on FanDuel. And Joku is somebody who had a lot of buzz in the offseason and I feel was drafted in many season long leagues to be a, T, a, a TE1. Is that what we can expect moving forward? He's like ever so slightly gradually improving, but I think we still want to see more from him. Yeah, I'm one of those people who drafted him as a tight end one, and we have not gotten that so far yet this year, Maria. He has not topped uh, 10 FanDuel points yet so far this year, but I think that is certainly on the verge, not just because Njoku got those six catches and 69 yards, but because he got the volume. He had 11 targets in that game on Sunday, which is the most that Njoku has had this entire season. And honestly, the usage has kind of been there all year. He has had seven targets in every game except for one. And if you look at their schedule going forward, things open up quite a bit for uh, for the Browns' offense because they face the Ravens. And again, the Ravens were the top passing defense in the league entering this week based on our metrics at number fire. And that was before Jimmy Smith was added into the fold too. So I did not expect the Browns' offense to do a whole lot in this game, and they really did not. But you look forward. They've got... Uh, the Chargers coming up next. They've got matchups against the Buccaneers, the Steelers, the Falcons. They've got some really good matchups ahead, and that could lead to a lot of good things for David and Joku. They do not seem to trust uh, Antonio Callaway. It seems like he's being put on the back burner, which means that this target tree is being narrowed down to Jarvis Landry and David and Joku. And Baker Mayfield, we know what he could potentially do based on what he did in college, how he's looked through a couple of games so far in the NFL. I think that he could lead this offense to be a really solid one for fantasy. And if we can get a guy who's going to get 20 or so percent of the targets in that offense, which could be in Joku, I'm inclined to buy them. So tight end is terrible right now. David and Joku, a crazy good athlete tied to a quarterback who could be really good in some solid matchups. I think that means that I do want to buy David and Joku right now before people realize the kind of numbers he is getting from a target perspective. Right. Not a lot of options at tight end. And for David and Joku, it feels like there's nowhere else to go but up. And Baker Mayfield uh, is a positive sign for the Browns. And he's certainly given them a boost, given them some hope. So I'm really eager to see what Njoku can continue to do.